Hello there, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion bringing you another Mega Bloks review. This time looking at a Terminator Genesis set. This is Prisoner Transport Attack. It is set number CNG05, has 819 pieces and retails for around 60 to 70 pounds. So this set mostly comprises of the prisoner transport truck seen here, but you also get a John Connor figure, a Kyle Reese figure, two generic resistance fighters, and of course two T-800 endoskeletons for the bad guys. Uh, these come with tons of accessories, uh, the truck has plenty of features as well, which we'll go into in the video now. So taking a closer look at the truck itself, as you can see it's quite a big build, there's plenty of parts involved with it which justifies the higher price point than what we were expecting. Um, apart from that you have tons of little features in it that are absolutely fantastic. So if we take a look at the cab first, you've got this little roof that you can pop off here, that comes off and this allows you to fit in three figures or you could fit one in standing here so technically four if you wanted you have a movable steering wheel it rotates and it can be raised and lowered depending on the figure size you all all the seats come with pegs so they can sit in there securely which is great of course this all rolls freely which is a nice feature no solid wheels or anything just pop that back on if we look at the cab here, uh, well the back bit section I should say, sorry, this little hatch flips down, you've got a ramp that you can use for having figures on it, and amazingly I like this feature, this roof lifts up, it just rests on top of the cab, and you have a little turret that someone can get on board. It pivots all the way around, it can be lowered as well. It has some sort of attachment on the front of it, so I suggest this is like a laser cannon. They do use this in the film, um, I don't want to give away spoilers, but it is... A quite a pivotal um, unit that's used in the film itself at near the start. Um, so it's really faithful to that in a sense. If we continue looking down at this, this hatch also pops off here. That can lift off. And inside it, if I just rotate it round, you can see that there's four more seats, but there's plenty of standing room. I mean, you could easily fit in a mongoose from the Halo line, a motorbike from the Call of Duty line. You could really expand on this set if you wanted. You also have a little weapon rack here. It's kind of concealed, but you can see the little metal clips here. They're great for clipping on weapons. If we rotate to the back, there's another flip down hatch here. It's a bit stiff, but that's just how my build turned out. That pops down like that. And then if you look around the side, you've got these little windows that you can see through. You've got the under chassis here with the little fuel tanks and whatnot. It's a really highly detailed build. Absolutely like it. It's really sturdy as well. And uh, I feel it fits great with any Halo dioramas, any Call of Duty. So if you're not a fan of the Terminator line yourself, it's great to pick up just for having a civilian style truck. Or a military style truck. The angles on the front definitely gives it a Halo Reach kind of vibe to it. It's a really great looking set. So taking a closer look at the figures, we'll start off here with John Connor. This is based on his appearance from Terminator Genesis with the same hair design that he had in that film along with the uh, scar on the cheeks here. Really great that they included that sculpted detail. You also get the pulse rifle accessory here and the combat jacket. This is a new accessory, it's not a reuse of a Call of Duty or Halo one. has a little clip for a knife or a grenade. And past that, the body itself is the reuse of the Alpha Series Halo um, Marine body. So it's in that scale, so it works well with the Halo line. Um, and it has all the articulation that you can expect from that line. The only thing is that different is you get a little kind of belt clip. You get a belt clip here with nothing on the back, which is different than the Marine. Um, so that's a great little filler piece in case you don't want a combat belt like the Halo figures. Absolutely great figure, and the head, head sculpt works great with any sort of uh, Mega Bloks line. Works great with the um, Halo figures, Call of Duty, I've popped and swapped it. It works great, so if even if you don't like Terminator, it might be worth picking up this set just to head swap some uh, new Marines or whatever you want for your lines. So moving on to the next figure, this is a generic resistance fighter, and it is in fact the same body and head sculpt as the weapons pack version. Uh, I feel this is a little bit of a shame as like that figure is so easy to army build. I think this one should have been a different skin tone or a different head just to create a bit more diversity in the ranks. At the moment we have a lot of this capped head so it's going to look a bit samey if you army build or multi-buy a lot of the sets. But past that it is just a reuse of the Alpha Series Marine body again like John Connor. You also get the black belt uh, clip here around the leg. Uh, you also interestingly get Emile's 
belts here. It has the uh, grenades that he has from Halo of Reach, and that is the back of a Spartan armor piece there. Uh, interesting that they included that, but it's a cool little variant because all the others just have generic belt pieces. As you can see, it also comes with the Call of Duty RPG. The rocket is removable here to simulate a fired position or a reloading position if you wanted that. And past that, it's just a generic grunt figure. It's a great figure because it works well with the other lines. Um, or you can just use it for Terminator. Uh, but still, it's an absolutely great figure and has a lot of potential outside of this Terminator line if you wanted it. So taking a closer look at this set, we have the second generic resistance fighter from the set. He comes with a laptop with the Terminator sticker on here. This is a little port element I won't go into, but it's nice that they included this based on the film itself. Uh, you also have the pulse rifle, and if we look at the head sculpt, you can see that it is different than the um, capped version that we've just had. Um, it doesn't have any sculpted detail on. The beard and the hair here is just paint, so I imagine it was meant to be a bald head. Perhaps it's a reuse of the Agent Lock head, I'm not too sure. But still, it's a nice variant to this set. Um, definitely welcomed addition to have some more diversity in the ranks, um, you know, than just having tons of capped uh, warriors. Definitely glad that they included this. Taking a look at the final resistance fighter in this set, this is of course Kyle Reese. It is based on the uh, actor ever so slightly, it's a bit loosely based on it but it's still the. It uses the same head as the T-1000 battle pack head, so I assume that, that T-1000 is meant to be replicating him. Um, past that, it, again, it uses the Alpha Series Marine body, has all the same articulation as you would get from that figure. You get the pulse rifle again, the combat vest, and then the generic little belt clip on his waist again. Nothing spectacular here, but another fantastic head sculpt that is definitely worth picking up if you want more random troops in any Halo, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, or if you want to keep it Terminator, that's fine. It's just a great little figure to have. And being a significant character to the Terminator line, it's definitely a good thing that Mega included him. So taking a look at the bad guys from this set, here we have the T-800 endoskeletons. As you can see, you get two of them. They come with their own version of the pulse rifle that Skynet designs for them. And past that, they are highly detailed sculpts. Tons of little sculpt work in the pistons and wiring sections of the armor. Nice little paint details on the red eyes. Creates a nice little glowing effect. Really, really good effect there. And as you can see on this guy, the articulation is quite significant. He has the normal ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed head. He now has a ball jointed torso. It mostly just swivels, um, but it is on a ball joint if you take this guy apart. You have the ball jointed thighs there that you can see the joint poking out of just down here. Uh, you also have the swivel knees, just like all the Halo and Call of Duty figures. Um, and interestingly, you don't get a ball jointed elbow this time or a swivel wrist, instead you have a swivel elbow. Uh, this means that posing is quite limited, you can't two handed hold the rifles for example. Um, and that basically, you can't bend the arm at the elbow from that position, so it is a bit of an awkward position to simulate aiming down the sights of a gun. Um, although looking at the films, most Terminators do just hip fire, I guess because they have auto targeting. It's not that big of a deal. However, we have seen this arm used on the prototype cat figure for the Halo line. And that makes me a little worried. Um, that means it'll look really awkward if we're trying to aim her pistol. I hope it is just a prototype that will see change for the Halo line. Because otherwise this piece is severely going to limit what cat can do. On these Terminators, however, it works perfectly. As I said earlier, most Terminators fire from the hip anyway. They're never really seen aiming. So it does work for this particular character. However, if it's going to be used on alternate characters, I do feel they need a bit of work on this. So overall with the set, you get a fantastic looking truck that's highly detailed. You get some great figures that have some great accessories. Uh, it has a lot of possibilities. As I said earlier, it looks great with Call of Duty or Halo figures. Or just use it in a big uh, Terminator Genesis diorama if you've got one of those going. These sets were heavily reduced at one point. So I imagine some people have got some massive armies of Terminators and Resistance Fighters. And this set will go great with them. Highly recommended. And like I said, if you, even if you don't collect Terminator, it's great for the parts. It's great for the figures. Definitely worth picking up if you can find it.
So that's it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. We will be bringing you more Terminator, Assassin's Creed, Halo and Call of Duty reviews in the near future. We'll also be taking a closer look at some of the new McFarlane figures as well, if that interests you. Um, which we're really excited about bringing to you. Uh, but don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe for this video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye!